Hello YouTube, this is Welsh Knife. Not doing a video here to ask what is better, slip joints or locking knives. But yeah, I have a little lock pack back knife. Um, those of you who want to see a review of it, so I can reference my Jack Pike Rambler knife video. We also have a Victorinox climber, two blades again, also reviewed. A Dutch Army knife that's going to be getting a review, so don't worry about this one. Reviewed a similar model, the year after this was made model. Also reviewed the old on my old multi tool video. Is this one a dual, dual blade slip joint? Locking one, frame lock and back lock. Slip joint one by year, I guess. Slip joint category for now. And in locking category, you got the Leatherman Wingman, also been reviewed by me. But what my video po point here today is. What is better, slip joints or locking knives? So I'm doing a part, like part two to this, um, depending on the feedback, but it, it just depends really on the feedback, what people think, because I, I do live in the UK, so uh, technically talking, you can't really carry this locking one in the streets without a good reason, or as the police say, good justification, but you can carry this without providing any reason because it's legal to carry due to the no locking and sub 3 inch so something a little bit little clarifying there I guess on the wall a little bit but other than that thanks for watching and have a nice day